We're gonna start it up here just so I can see what it does on a cold start. And then uh, he's gonna rev it up a little bit to get the idle up on it so it'll build air quicker. This airbag over here has come down on the left rear a little bit overnight. It's a couple inches lower on this side. It up to we step on your brake pedal for a second and hold it down okay yeah there's no area there. a little bit of treadle valve exhaust is leaking a little bit here yeah it's the treadle valve exhaust i can hear it tap the pedal again it might go away still there just a little bit yeah Okay. Um, it's leaking pretty bad now because it's going, you know, I'm all the way down from 120 to 100. Well, he stepped on the pedal a couple of times. That'll do it. Will it even out back here in the back? Uh, it came up some, but it's not completely level now. Multiplier works great. Let me take a hammer and straighten this out while we got these on. Yeah. That way I can hang my mud flaps on. This is 78 to 1 is the gear reduction on it. What you need to do is get your socket to fit that and work it. Does, it doesn't work that way. The, the impact, the, the way the gears work or whatever, it, it doesn't work. I tried it. <laughs> The, the amount of the, the impact moves, it, yeah, it doesn't work.
So this brake can is so far out of adjustment, you can see that it's pushed all the way to max limit and it's at an angle. And I'm thinking that's why his parking brake isn't releasing. You can actually see to the other side, the slack adjuster over there is right at that angle instead of at that angle. That's how much farther out of it. It's just, it's full, full on out. But now I need to get this brake drum off with the brakes applied. I'm gonna try to back that slack adjuster off enough where I can get some there with that, with that max travel. And there's even a little bit of a bend in the push rod. There's, it's all the way out. So uh, otherwise I could try them. I could try to have them release the parking brake while I'd kind of jimmy that with a pry bar to try to get it to go back in at its right angle. But uh, we'll see what we got. We'll try it with the slack adjuster first. Okay! It's shut it off! We got it! <laughs> okay, so we have dialed the slack adjuster back for our geometry is going to get it tight at 90 degrees. It just got wedged in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've got it so it's at 90 degrees. So what happened is somebody put this can on with a ridiculously long arm on it. So that just the geometry was just way off on it. It was bending it and it was coming out of the can the whole distance. Um, so we're going to shorten it up, move it on there, and get it set right. We did get the axle seal in here. Here was the old one. Get it all back together. That looks a little more pleasing to the geometry there. Okay, so now the geometry on this side is the same as the geometry on the other side. If you can see that, let me zoom in on it back there. But look at that, nicely done. It applied. Yep, huh? it did. Sure made air noise up here. I want to look and see just for yep. a moment of curiosity. Yep. You can't spin it now. Try spinning it. <laughs> yeah, it applied. Well, I'm, I'm happy. See if it'll release. Oh, you don't, you gotta have 100 pounds in the other to make the cam lock work. That's what it won't. Well, we were at O'Reilly's today and uh, I ordered uh, seven gallons of this Dello 100 oil. They accidentally ordered in seven cases instead. They loaded my car for me. I didn't realize it until we got back here that they actually, instead of seven that I paid for, they gave me 10 gallons. So we got three gallons of free oil, uh, except I didn't pay for it. So I, uh, I called them back at O'Reilly's and said, hey, I only paid for seven. You gave me 10. I'm going to bring the three back either later today or first thing in the morning. The guy seemed kind of shocked that I was bringing back three gallons that I didn't pay for, that I got away with, but uh, couldn't live with myself without doing that. So we're going to return these. Uh, three of these in the morning, either later today or in the morning. I'm just gomming around until you got back. Yeah, here's all this crap. We just poured this out of his fuel filter. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. That's what the problem was. As we suspected. Look at that. <laughs> it's getting better as we go. <laughs> you could have just shook it out and put it back on. No. <laughs> Cheap, but I ain't that cheap. Oh man, that is some nasty stuff. Yeah, you already seen that main filter on the bus back there. <laughs> Setting the timing on here, um, using the snap-on wrenches here that are for the Detroit diesel. Um, everything, the exhaust valves, uh, I could stick, it's supposed to be 0 0.017 is the clearance uh, that you set it with, and 0 0.017 doesn't fit, 0 0.015 will fit. 
Uh, I actually took a 015 and a 017 together and put it under the one valve. That's how far off it was. Um, so, but the 017 has fit freely. I'm not even touching in a bunch of them. But uh, we're getting it all dialed in. And then uh, we're doing the exhaust here on this side. We've already completed it on the other side. So it's loose right now. I've loosened the nut. So if I take this 0 0.017 feeler gauge here between the bridge and the rocker, I want to just have a nice smooth pull on that when I do it. Uh, and I just adjust the square push rod on the back. And that also is a snap-on specialty tool. And I'm going to need two hands to do it, so I'm going to let you go, but just gives you an idea. I just move that around, tighten it down. But it was so far out of adjustment on the exhaust valves. The fuel injectors weren't horrible. The rear fuel injector here, the hardest one to get to is the furthest one off. So it's probably been skipped a few times because it's so hard to get to. wasn't too much water. That was only about a quart that came out. Well, that's, that's a quart too much. You can close it now, though. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, God, sorry. Uh, sorry. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> yeah, shut straight down. Which don't make a lick of sense. Yeah, you put a, put a hose on it and a... That was a long, tiring day. So we started out, we were just going to do a tune-up and replace a wheel seal. Uh, turned out he had some serious air leaks and issues with the brakes that we had to work through. Um, got that all sorted out. It has a DD3s, they're not spring brake maxis. Um, so you actually have to have air pressure to release the spring or the cam lock on them too. Uh, and then the one was kind of, the geometry as you saw was all wrong. Uh, definitely needed a tune-up fuel filter issues he just replaced the fuel filter on the bus before he came we went ahead and put another one on today and we tore that one apart and it was pretty nasty inside too that was his generator fuel filter that little tiny one uh, that was a pre-filter there it has regular filters on it too um, that was like a pre electronic fuel pump electric fuel pump that they added to it <clears throat> so and that was why the generator didn't want to start yesterday because that thing was so restricted so we ran some injector cleaner through there too. He needs to get some kind of biocide in his fuel tank. There's definitely some slime growing in there. It's been sitting for a long time. He's owned that bus for about nine years. Um, I can't think what else we did. Uh, change the oil because he had 1540 that he just put in it right before this trip. He didn't know it. We had to have CF2 rated straight 40 weight low ash oil. Um, so just crazy things that we did. Um, the outer lug nuts were way over torqued. We had to use the torque multiplier. Uh, it was just nothing but a fight. It was a long, hard day's work. I am tired. That is the hardest I've worked in a little while. Um, but it was nice, nice to do it. So he'll get back on the road tomorrow and head back to Arkansas. Thank <laughs> you.
His tools, check the air and all those duels. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Well, he's got a long, hard ride in old Lenny the Silver Sides. Get that bus grease monkey on the road. Well, he's got that hammer down and that 47 hound. It's that bus grease monkey on the road. He travels all around and he's coming to your town. Get that bus grease monkey down the road. Watch that bus grease monkey do his thing. Thirty years behind that barn, cause it don't run worth a darn. Watch that bus grease monkey make it sing. He knows in Detroit there's no doubt upside down and inside out. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in that old blue silver sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Now he's moved his family. Tennessee. Watch that bus grease monkey make his home. Bringing buses back to life with the help of his dear wife. Watch that bus grease monkey get it done. When he travels town to town working on them old greyhounds. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? Saving buses far and wide in old Lily the Silver Sides. It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know? It's that bus Monkey, don't you know? It's that bus grease monkey, don't you know?